and welcome back. I am your host, the Susan Anime O'Hagan, and today we're going to talk about some true crime cases. So I have some true crime stories. Killers in the Family, Fatal Friendships, Unsolved Mysteries, Amazing Escape, Plus Victims to Crusade, Inspiring Tales, Murder, Real Life to TV. Survivor Takes on F S.A. 55 year old case solved. Today we're going to talk about Salin on Saturday. Oh boy. Blanche and Larry Ronaldo traveled the world hunting together. On a trip to Africa, Blanche became her husband's target. Ooh. Hunting turns to murder. Vast vase. The wealthy American couple visiting Africa were no strangers to gun and big game hunting. Over their 34-year marriage, Larry and Bianca Ronaldo separately and together stalked Pumbos in Canada and Bentox in Spain and Bush Bucks, a type of wild antelope in Zimbabwe. Sorry if I can't pronounce these. But in 2016, a remote safari camp in Kafu National Park in Zimbabwe, where Bianca was hoping to bag a leopard, her 12 gauge shotgun went off in the early morning. Hours of October 11th, the blast hit the 56-year-old mother of two in the heart, killing her. Larry said he was in the bathroom while his wife was packing her weapon into a travel case when the gun fired. Responding, Zimbabwe police quickly ruled it an accidental death. American officials, however, were not so certain. Within days of Bianca's death, Larry, a successful dentist, filled paperwork at the U.S. Embassy in Zimbabwe to have his wife's body cremated immediately. Even though, as suspicious investigators know, Larry was a big game trophy collector with plenty of experience transporting bodies overseas. And in and back in the U.S., the FBI received a tip from Larry's office manager, Anna Grimley, who would go on to say that her boss was involved in a long-term relationship with an employee at his practice. Laura Millerin, a friend of Bianca's, added that the long marriage couple had fought bitterly over money and Larry collectively nearly $500 million in life and accidental death insurance benefits when Bianca died. After five years, investigations that led to his arrest in late 2021 and a dramatic trial during which Larry took the stage saying, I did not kill my wife. I could not murder my wife. I would not murder my wife. Larry. Rodolph was found guilty of murder and mail fraud by a federal jury in Denver. Marion Reina was convicted of being an accessory after the fact and of perjury for lying to a grand jury, said U.S. Attorney Cole after the verdict. Bianca Rinaldi deserve justice. To most observed, the Rinaldi's lived together seemed almost delicately after meeting the University of Pittsburgh where Larry studied dentistry while Bianca was an undergrad. The couple married in 1982 and had two children, Anna and Julian. And I say Anna because it's A-N-A, -A, where if you spell A-N-A, -A, I say Anna, so I don't know if that's correct or not. They acted like any other normal couple, says Bob Anderson, a fellow of Safari Club International. I never saw anything that 
even hinted that there was any issue between the two of them. But in 2004, Larry began a relationship with Milano, a former hygienist and executive of his dental office outside Pittsburgh, while still living with his wife. He reportedly learned of the affair sometime before the 2016 trip to Zimbabwe. During the trial, prosecutors claimed that Larry made plans to kill his wife so that he could be with Millie Iron? Millie Iron? Okay, I'm calling you Millie. Millie. Larry's lawyers continued to continued that Bianca and Larry had an open relationship and that Larry had no financial motivation to commit murder. They still loved and cared for each other and especially their children Darley. Larry lawyers said in a statement in the end it may have been Larry's own words that sealed his fate. Pre- Assumption witness Brian Lovelace, a bartender at a Phoenix steakhouse where Larry and Millie dined in 2020, testified that he overheard an explosive argument between the pair during which Larry blurted, I, I killed my f word wife for you. Larry's lawyers agreed that Lovelace had misheard the defense, but jurors voted to convict. Larry and Millie both plan to appeal the verdict and are scheduled for signing sin in February 2023. For Sherry Hawk, a dental assistant who worked for Larry and knew the family that day, couldn't come soon enough. It was just about greed, money, and power, says Hawk. When Bianca died, we were told not to say anything. No cards, no flowers, nothing. We can finally talk about her moving on. Bianca was a strong woman, says a friend of the couple. She had a sense of accomplishment. Together, the Rol Roldoffs tracked and killed dozens of wild animals for sport. The cabin where Bianca died was 80 miles from the nearest police station. Some of these cases are really short. I just realized this. Okay, have a great, wonderful day. Hope y'all learned something. Bye for now.